your reactions to the Seamus Daniel Bryan thing being sort of pulled from that card were you looking forward to that and, and how did you feel then when it was was taken off I was the one giving you guys like the whole entire chat information from Twitter that um, that was getting pulled lately we all know Seamus with his little losing streak even though now they're starting to give him the push again um, they're both great workers and they both can do amazing shit but for them to pull that and the next night on Raw they turn it into a long 10-15 minute match I mean that's what we missed from Wrestlemania obviously mm. and then for them to just pull that give more time to whoever the Rock whoever mm. found yeah. the bullshit this is because they could have pulled they could have pulled the eight man tag match and <clears throat> and then they only give it what two minutes on that match that was retarded. I didn't even see that match because what happened was I had to go take the garbage out. I come back and I see the replay yeah. of the. Big I was three. like, I was like, if Triple H wins, the only way he needs to win is if he pulls the sledgehammer out, or uh, he used to do uh, Indian Deathlock as a submission mover. And if he pulls that out, then he can win. But Undertaker, I forgot he had his submission mover too, mm. and uh, he he snuck that in. I mean, that was a surprise for me. And then, um, but still. It was good acting for Triple H to like try and grab the uh, sledgehammer and whatnot, and um, ultimately tapping, just doing like a little. Yeah. He was passing out, obviously. It was it was a it was okay match. I just was disappointed with the results, basically. You have to be able to believe what you're seeing, and little things can kind of disrupt that. And certainly, some things you mentioned there are very interesting. And uh, yeah. Again, again, Triple H Taker. You know, presumably that would be somewhat of a highlight from you of that card. If you were to mention one match, it's only that match. Um, some of the earlier matches I felt were good over the later matches. Like definitely, uh, even though The Rock was involved, we all knew he was going to be involved with the um, Cena and Miz match at the end. Um, I was surprised. I guess Miz really did get a concussion when he banged his head against the uh, steel uh, when a Cena clothesline him over the into the uh, you know the seating area we get you set up and uh, yeah your thoughts on anything any given wrestling subject shoot I, I suck when I read in that same issue of uh, uh, PWI I, and like it's like who ordered the WWE pay-per-view? Who ordered the TNA pay-per-view? Who ordered the Ring of Honor pay-per-views? Come on. Yeah. Really? really? My camera timed out for a few seconds. Yes, it, uh, it's a good question. Who who will order them if, if uh, they continue to be the quality they are at the moment, I suppose. Uh, I suppose to talk about some of the things, just as we did with Mike, uh, talking about WrestleMania. Now, I know you were in here in the room, uh, one of our moderators as well. Uh, how did you find Mania overall? Did you think it was a good show? It was, it was very... Right. Sorry, yeah, sorry. like I say, I hate the cold, cold or match. Match. I love. Why well, I, I love Taker versus Triple H with the streak still going around. I love the world title match, despite the fact you're pushing Del Rio too soon. Love the WWE title match because it's a lot of factors. It's, it explains itself. What are your thoughts overall? Oh, well, wh where do we begin with WrestleMania <laughs> other than a failure, for first off? I mean, they had all the makings of making an excellent pay-per-view, yeah. and once again, it went down the shitter. The one time everyone hopes when it doesn't, you know, WrestleMania 27, all the hype, you know, especially with that WrestleMania DVD that really brought up everyone's expectations and then have it to be probably one of the worst WrestleManias in a long long time it's a good point actually that, yeah mm -hmm. I, I think it was controversial uh some 
few people did actually say they enjoyed it. I'm not really sure what they were watching. Uh, but I know one in particular you were looking forward to was Cole v. Lawler. Now, your thoughts on that one? Because I felt like it just had it had too little of Lawler uh, sort of down. You know, I wanted to see more Cole getting his ass whipped time. You know, it was entertaining and it was funny. It went on too long, though. It was That's somewhat long, point. yeah. Yeah, I think... You know, it just went on a little too long. They could have had it, you know, a few minutes uh, faster, not drag it out as much, and it would have done what it needed to do. I don't know if it was necessary to kind of bury uh, Lawler as much as Cole did throughout the match. I don't know. I suppose maybe to add to Cole going forward as opposed to Lawler doing anything going forward in mm. the ring. Probably makes sense, I suppose, doesn't it? I mean, Cole, he had a certainly changed attitude the next night on Raw, and he talked about how it was his, his best moment in, in years and his favourite few days. He's really into this. Uh, I wouldn't think he'd like to get out of it too quickly. He, I think he likes this role. Well, I think he's kind of stuck in this role now, mm. too. I mean, they just can't snap him back to the announcer booth like nothing's ever happened, and him and King go on. No, you know, what are they going to do with the two of them? Are they going to keep him in that fucking... Uh, coal miners box for the next year like, <laughs> that's going to be uh, interesting to see how that's all going to work out you know and I, I fucking really hated the ending to that match like with the whole raw GM getting involved and turning it over I mean Jerry Lawler should have went down with at least one Wrestlemania match with a fucking victory in my opinion but that's you know that's just me right yeah it, it's a fair fair enough point uh, again I just think it comes back to looking ahead I suppose after Wrestlemania and what advantages it would have had for Lawler to be officially the winner I suppose mm. um, but yeah I mean you, I do feel sorry for the king I want to hear from you on various different subjects if you like uh, but I suppose uh, Wrestlemania to begin with did you watch that pay-per-view last week? Yeah I watched Wrestlemania I was real disappointed with Wrestlemania because I see Wrestlemania as where it's supposed to come up rivalries and I didn't think any rivalries came to a climax other than Cole and Long, but who really cared about that anyways? This is it. Cole and Lawler was a, a tough, a tough match to, I suppose, build. And uh, in the end, did they do a good job? Maybe not. Uh, other matches then, I'm presuming maybe you were looking forward to Triple H Taker? I, I did enjoy Triple H Taker a lot. There were a lot of botched moves. I mean, I don't think Triple H meant to do the moves that he did, but he, he hurt Undertaker a lot. You could tell with, like, I think it was the second pedigree he took. His neck was, like, completely gone. You could tell. And, um, I don't know. It was the anticipation of the match that I kind of enjoyed. It was like, will it be better than Shawn Michaels? Or will it be on the same par? Nobody knew, and it, it, it probably did. Did you think Both that... Sean... Sorry, go, go ahead. On. <laughs> no, go ahead. You're fine. I, both Shawn Michael matches were really good with Taker, but I think Triple H is it was it was the strength of Triple H versus Taker. I think it was it was better than both Shawn Michael matches. I think it was a lot better than both the matches. Now there's a, an interesting observation. It is, yeah. Uh, I course. think uh, you know again, um, like I said a couple of minutes ago, one time I watched it, I kind of got it a lot more. Um, I uh, I don't know what it was about the live reaction. It just um, you know I, I thought it was good, and we said the finish was good. But on on the second watch, uh, I definitely saw a hell of a lot more that I didn't see on the first one. I think it was better than the second Michael's uh, Taker match, but I think the first one still pips it to the post a little bit for me. Mm, I hadn't even tried actually thinking about whether it was better or not than those two you're right that first michael's undertaker is a classic and probably the only highlight on that 25 card for me the follow-up then at 26 uh you know i'm not sure uh, if uh it is uh triple h taker i mean better than that one but maybe it's on par at least i think the problem with the second one was uh you know they'd one they'd seen it and two uh, if you watch the 25 one, that live reaction as it's happening to all those kind of, I suppose, uh, false finishes, and there were so many, made the atmosphere in the place 
affect how they were performing. Mm. And I think that's what uh, was definitely missing from 26. And although 27's trips and Taker had that, uh, it still fell short in the long run, I think. And Corver, can I ask I you? Uh, oh, sorry, I let you finish. But did you? Uh, are you in the chat room right now? What's your username? And we can. My my username is Alex Riley. Well, we have you as Alex Riley. We'll keep you in there. Uh, so, other thoughts on that? Anything else that comes to mind? Re WrestleMania. Well, um, I like the Cody Rhodes Rey Mysterio match. I did. Cody Rhodes did a lot of things that nobody would thought he could do. He wrestled at WrestleMania for the second time in a row. He beat Rey Mysterio. He he put over Rey Mysterio. He carried Rey Mysterio almost in that match, and it was it was real good to see someone like Cody Rhodes, who's young, up and coming, someone like Drew McIntyre who wasn't at WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes kind of delivered the message like we're young and we can still fight at a WrestleMania and we can still carry people who've been there for what. 15 years, mm. you know what I mean? That's a good point. Uh, how about uh, Seamus and Daniel Bryan? Were you surprised to see that one pulled? I, I really was looking forward to that match, actually, because I'm a huge Seamus mark. But at the end of the day, they put the core match in over that match. What I would have done personally is had the the four-band tag match as the dark match and then made that into a battle royal. It would have made more sense that way, but mm. to have two guys and a title match, it, it just didn't make sense to me at all. Uh, Drifter88, uh, don't forget his site, the Sidewalk Slam, all one word, the Sidewalk Slam dot com is where you can check out uh, Drifter's posts, and uh, yeah, he posts some of the Wrestle Dope videos as well. Also, our YouTube as well. Perhaps you're new in the room, like Alex, uh, first time Skype caller tonight. YouTube dot com slash the Wrestle Dope, and you'll find lots there. Chris Jer Jericho live footage, Chris Jericho interview, and uh, one or two uh, opinion videos as well. 